welcome back to Big John TV on another What's Cooking Wednesday. We've got an awesome leftover recipe. We just had St. Patrick's Day and you may or may not have cooked corned beef, but if you do and you have leftovers, I've got some ideas for you. It's, you're watching this hopefully on a Wednesday, you had Sunday night dinner, if you still got leftovers, now's the time to use them. Yep. And here's a couple of really cool, and of course for us it's going to be unique. We always like to add the twist to things. It's not that just a standard, true. you know, blah, blah, blah. It's yep. different. Our our go-to leftover for corned beef is corned beef hash. Yep. We're going to twist it up a little bit and do a corned beef hash waffle. Kind of all the same ingredients, yep. just pressed into a waffle. It's going to be awesome. And our second one is a Reuben roller. I don't know that I've ever actually eaten a Reuben sandwich. No, because I don't like sauerkraut, so uh, I haven't. Because it had sauerkraut. I was right. always like, no, no, I don't want to eat that. But you know what? I've got to expand my horizons and try new things. There you go. And this one, it's calling for um, the sauerkraut to be washed and drained. I think that might kind of, you know, get some of the funkiness off of it. We'll give it a try. All right. All right, let's get cooking. Yep. See you at the end. All right, we're going to start with one sheet of puff pastry. Fold it out gently. I'm gonna brush just a little bit of the flour off that's on here. Perfect. We've got our leftover corned beef. I'm going to lay this out the best we can. So it was probably about two cups of corned beef. If you're using the pre-sliced deli meats, maybe five slices. Next we have our sauerkraut. This has been rinsed and drained. It calls for a half a cup. You can go based on your preference. We're not big fans of sauerkraut, so I'm gonna go pretty sparingly on this. Alright, next layer is Swiss cheese. We're going to go with about six slices here. We'll see what we actually need. Alright, not bad. We want to stay away from this edge. Give it about an inch so that we can seal it up. Alright, let's attempt to roll this. See my cheese is trying to escape, so we're gonna fold those over. All right, there we go. Not too shabby. Now with a very sharp knife, we're gonna slice these into about half inch pieces. Place them onto our cookie sheet. Check it out, those look fabulous. If you want, you can fix them and make them a bit more round. All right, these are gonna go in a 400 degree oven for about 18 to 20 minutes. Keep an eye on them when they're nice and puffy and golden, they are finished. Let's go. In our large mix and measure, we've got about four cups of hash browns. To that, we're gonna add up one finely shredded medium onion. About two cups of corned beef, and I've just kind of chunked this up. one beaten egg, a 
pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, and then we give it a stir. Corned beef hash is really one of my go-to things to use up corned beef with. And I really like the idea of this fun twist. Something slightly different, but all the same great flavors. All right, that looks really well mixed. The onions are incorporated, the salt and pepper, and the corned beef is evenly distributed. Let's start making our waffles. All right, I've got a little dish here of oil. I'm gonna make sure this is really well oiled. Both the top and the bottom. All right, we're gonna add about a quarter cup, maybe a third of a cup of mix. Spread it out a bit and close it down. Oh, look at that. Fabulous. Hotter than crap. There we go. Here we go again. All right, there are waffles, our corned beef and hash waffles. The only thing I think they need is a couple of eggs on top. Those are looking pretty good. And here we've got our Reuben rollers with a side of Thousand Island dressing to dip them in. All right, let's get somebody over here to give these a taste. All right, guys, I got John in here to give him a taste test. We've got Reuben rollers, Thousand Island dipping sauce. We we'll starting there? Sure. I'll do it. I like the idea of something other than a breakfast food to be made with the leftover corned beef because pretty much all we ever do is corned beef hash, mm -hmm. right? I like that. I'm not a sauerkraut fan, but in this application, it works just mm -hmm. fine. The rinsing it really helped it out because I get a touch of the flavor. The Thousand Island gives it a nice tang. Mm. I dig it. Not bad. I can eat sauerkraut this way. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. I feel like I got a little sauce on my face. Next, we have our corned beef hash waffles. This is going to be a bit harder for me yeah. to hold, so you know I'm going to put it down. You know what I want to do? Just steal a corner? Yeah. So I ended up with five waffles. I think if I varied the size a little bit or kept them a little evener, I could have gotten more. Or if I had a Belgian waffle maker, I think that would have given it a little bit more crispiness mm. for the surface area. That's a good, that's a good flavor profile there too. That's really right? nice. Like it's one of my favorite things to do, but this just kind of puts it all in one place. It was pretty simple. I was pleased that it didn't mm -hmm. stick like crazy. I like that. Mm. See if I can do. I like the crispiness in there, the like little bit of char on the meat. Mm -hmm. Trying to do both of these at the same time now. There you go. Boom. Sorry, that's the only way to do this right now. And share with you guys at the same time. Mm. We should both not chew at the same time. So, <clears throat> go ahead. The only thing I would add is a touch more salt to those. In the recooking process, I think the corned beef lost some of its saltiness. A little bit, which. I mean, sometimes corned beef is dangerously salty That's anyway, true. so probably not a bad problem to have if you're going to have one. That is true. Those are fantastic. That's really good. I think this is another successful What's Cooking Wednesday. I agree. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below, what do you guys do with your leftover corned beef? Do you even have leftover corned beef? <laughs> 
sometimes we do sometimes we don't right all right guys make sure you click the like subscribe share with your friends and we'll catch you on the next one bye See you guys.